Hey, down here. Okay, I think I have my headset phone, my headphone, my phone head. Yeah, headphones are what you listen with. Phone heads are what you, of course, it's going to make a terrible video if I move like this. Ah, it's still sagging, my. It's sagging too much, and it's down in my eyes where I can't see what I'm doing. I have these rubber bands on my, okay, now if I put my head way back and make my head and my eyes go crazy, because see, I can see the phone and the computer. I can look under the phone or I can look at the phone. Too bad my eyes aren't really good. I could look at the phone. Then I would always know what I'm reading, what I'm aiming at. Yeah, I can't read that no matter what. Okay, so. I think it's making such a bad video that uh, I can't do it. If I turn my head real slow, I'll be real careful. Oh, if I close one eye, I don't go quite as crazy, but. And if I'm sitting here to where I can. Uh, the phone is aiming at my laptop screen good, then. I'm looking at it at a really weird angle, and I can't read it because the phone's down in front of my eyes. That's because my thing is sagging still. That's actually where I need it. Yeah, I don't think this idea will ever work, but... Uh, and I noticed before I did another test, and my talking made the phone shake. So, uh, I guess that's why handheld phone is still the way people do it. Uh, maybe a short selfie stick or something. You don't need a stick if you're just doing what I'm doing. But anyway, I'm scanning with ESET Rescue on the Dell 1525 laptop. And it is at 69%. percent and been there a while. Well, I was there when I started messing with this phone, trying to hook it up onto this uh, headset. It's one of those jeweler's headset things. I've got another video of it. And at the same time, I went over here on my other Windows 7 system. That's Windows 7, by the way. And, uh, well, actually, earlier today, I had copied a bunch of files. It's got a bigger got a bigger hard drive, and I copied a bunch of files over onto it so that I could delete them off the laptop. And then after I started suspecting the laptop might be infected, then I thought, well, I'd better scan all those files that I copied over. So I just set, I started with mal malware bytes, and I just told it to scan every inch of that system. I did a custom scan, and I told it to scan uh, root kits, scan the memory, scan startup files, scan registry, scan file system. And it's still in heuristic scan, the last one. And it didn't show anything detected. Well, it showed a couple along the way, and they were just pups. Potentially unwanted programs. But now there's 12 in that list. And, uh... It, uh... I haven't looked at it yet. But, uh... I'll click on it. Let's see. I hate these tiny little windows they open up. I want to see this stuff. Can't read it if it's in a tiny little window now, can you? It won't slide over. This is, by the way, uh, using BNC Remote Desktop Viewer in my Linux on Fedora 23 Linux system. That's why it's such a small window inside of my inside of my uh, screen here. Okay, so yeah, most of them are pups. There's one that says Ransom Agent. Oh, wow. Why would there be a Ransom Agent? I can't uh, page over to see the whole name of the file. But it is one of my... Uh, it's in my window. It's the ones they keep... That's where it always finds them. Most of them I know are okay. I've been using them for years. Toolbar... Uh, most of them are adware, adware and stuff. You know what you expect to get when you have when you download uh, free software. But uh, this one, 
see how can I if you hover over it it doesn't show you the rest of it so how are you supposed to figure out what it is and where it is yeah Sardu always comes up it says risk where dot tor tor dot seven zip Tor, the only thing I know about Tor is it's the Tor, uh, you know, privacy network. Tor Z7 file. And this one is in a long direct, you know, long list of directories there, so I can't see the name of the file. That says ransomware, and that one says ransomware. Although I've never been hit by anything like that. So uh, let me get this off my head because it's wearing me out anyway.